Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to have a look at creating a cross-tab query. So you can see I've got one there already. Um, I'll just create a new one. So just to remind ourselves what's in this table, it's just a named a list of names and departments and salary. So let's have a look at creating a cross-tab query based on that. So I'm on create query, query wizard cross tab query wizard okay to that i've only got one table in this database and i'm just going to go next so i want to do this by department and then next and surname so it's surname and then next and then i want to add up the salary or find out what the salary is for each person so i'm going to sum the salary next and then finish and you can see the end product so you've got the names across the top and then the departments down the left with the total salary count or sum and then individual salaries per person so that's a cross tab query i'll close that one down and open a different database if i open company records do another example again i've already done one in here but if i go onto the create tab query wizard cross tab okay let's have a look at this that's the correct table i want address details next so we'll look at city first next followed by surname go back one because i double click that surname and then we want um staff id count so we're looking at how many smiths live in bradford for example next and then finish so there's two jones lives in bradford close that one and then you can maybe do it the other way around if you wanted to it's the whole point of a cross tab query sometimes it's a bit of trial and error to get the actual right answer or the right thing that you want so let's go for surname this time by city and again we'll do a count of staff ID see what this one looks like so now you've got the people down the left hand side and, and where they live in terms of cities across the top now what will happen if there's any typos on any of these so if you've got Brad fraud like I always type that would add that would be added as an extra city so it's quite important that you have some sort of lookup feature so you can't type in random um, spelling mistakes but that's uh, an example of that one and the one that we did before that's cross tab one the first one is just looking at, at it the other way around so you've got the names and then the cities so it's to just complete opposite way around but both are cross tabs and the first one i did in the other database was looking at salaries by department so that's a, a quick look at cross tab queries so hopefully that was of use to you and i'll see you on the next one